Good morning. My name is Robin Vi Carpenter Briscoe, and our reading today is an excerpt from the section, The Cult of To-Do Lists in the Four Pivots by Sean Genright, PhD. All right. Raise your hand if you have a to-do list. Don't just nod your head in silent agreement as you read this, okay? Raise your hand with honest pride. We all, to some extent, are guided by our to-do lists because these simple tools help keep all the mundane stuff in our heads in order. To-do lists allow us to increase daily or monthly productivity without having to memorize and feel overwhelmed by all the things that need to be accomplished. But a to-do list is much deeper than that. It is really a symbol of modern capitalist culture that guides our daily behavior. We are all built with a disconnect between our conscious and unconscious minds. Our conscious mind organizes, categorizes, and prioritizes tasks. But when these are not completed, the unconscious mind gets annoyed and sends a message to the conscious mind that something is unfinished. That message then sparks the conscious mind to recall what hasn't been completed. It's a nagging feeling when we have unfinished tasks dangling around. That's why when we literally scratch off a task from our list, we feel better and more in control of things. To-do lists aren't bad in themselves. They are just symbols of how capitalist culture permeates nearly all aspects of our lives. One of the most dangerous consequences of capitalist culture is the deep sense of emptiness, isolation, and inadequacy it creates among all of us. To-do lists aren't bad. We just have to keep in mind the real consequences of defining and valuing ourselves by scratching off those pesky items on our lists. Our intense desire for productivity, while necessary at times, can get out of control. This is how we slip into an addiction to frenzy without even knowing it. We digest large doses of capitalist culture without the awareness of what these values are doing to our physical health, mental well being, and the quality of our relationships. The only way to pivot away from our addiction to frenzy is to first recognize the impact frenzy has on our joy, meaning, and human connectedness. Thank you.